brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, victory on the mountain. Victory on the mountain. Last week, the topic was victory over contenders. I hope you're enjoying the victory that Jesus Christ won for you. Today we're considering victory on the mountain, the mountain a vantage point where you can enjoy the blessings of God. The word mountain is mentioned 403 times in the New King James Bible, so mountains are very significant. Mountains refer to a physical structure defined as a large natural elevation of the Earth's surface, rising abruptly from the surrounding level. A mountain can also be symbolic, representing a height, elevation, summit or prominence. Other dictionary definitions for a mountain are a large pile or quantity of something, a large surplus stock. This speaks of abundance and having more than enough and it reminds me of this scripture and I pray this for you, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. In Jesus' name, amen. Always having all sufficiency in all things. Wow, but let's remember that the mountain of provision and abundance is for every good work. May you have an abundance for every good work. In Jesus' name, amen. Victory on the mountain. The Bible speaks of mountains in different ways. Sometimes it's a physical mountain that can be seen and touched, or sometimes it's a symbolic mountain. For instance, the Bible refers to Mount Zion in both physical and symbolic ways. And the mountain means different things to different people. The significance of mountains. Mountains signify protection and safety. Psalm 125 verse 2. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. May Almighty God protect you and your family from this time forth and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Mountains signify deliverance. Obadiah 1 verse 17a. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Number three, mountains signify holiness. Obadiah 117 b. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. Number four, mountains signify destiny recovery, possessing your possessions, Obadiah 117. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob, that's you, shall possess their possessions. What are your possessions? They're things that you own or control. It could be inherited or acquired, it could be land, health, wealth. Your possessions are the things that Almighty God has given to you and those that he has promised as well. To possess your possessions means to take ownership, to take control, to take charge. It means to take hold of, to seize, to secure, to conquer, to capture, to commandeer. It means that you occupy when you possess your possessions. Today, as we pray, you will possess your possessions in the name of Jesus. Number five, mountains signify rest. In Genesis chapter eight, Noah received rest when the ark finally rested upon the mountains of Arafat. Number six, mountains signify a place of exchange, a place of instruction, a place of wisdom and guidance. Exodus 24 verse 12, and the Lord said to Moses, come up to me on the mountain and remain there and I will give you the stone tablets with the law and the commandment which I have written for their instruction. May God grant us wisdom, knowledge and understanding in Jesus' name. Number seven, mountains signify a place of glory and transfiguration, a place of encounter. Matthew chapter 17 
Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James and John, his brother, led them up on a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. While he was speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Jesus was transfigured so that his face shone like the sun. The disciples witnessed an encounter between God and Jesus. What a privilege. I pray that God will meet with you in a special way and your life will be transformed. Your life will be changed in Jesus' name. Number eight, mountains signify a place of victory. In 1 Kings chapter 18, Elijah called down fire on Mount Carmel and defeated the prophets of Baal. A mountain of challenge became a mountain of victory. Victory on the mountain. So far, we've spoken about mountains in a victorious light. We would love to have continuous, positive mountaintop experiences, but the mountain can be a place of defeat. You will not be defeated in Jesus' name. First Chronicles 10, 1 to 12 gives the account of the death of Saul and his sons on Mount Gilboa. I pray that you will be victorious in every circumstance of your life in Jesus' name. The mountain can be viewed as a place of opportunity. For instance, in the following scriptures, is the mountain a hindrance or is it a blessing? Is it a barrier to breakthrough or is it the way to breakthrough? You can judge for yourselves. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. So Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief for assuredly I say to you if you have faith as a mustard seed you will say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move and nothing nothing will be impossible for you mark 11 verse 23 for assuredly I say to you whoever says to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things which he says will be done he will have whatever he says if an individual views the mountain as unsurmountable an obstacle something that cannot be overcome then the mountain is something negative. If another individual views the mountain as something that can be overcome, then the mountain is an opportunity, an opportunity to break through, to exercise faith, an opportunity to align with God through his word, an opportunity to show God's power, to bring others to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How do you view the challenges in your life? Many good opportunities come in disguise. If a glass is halfway filled with water, how do you view it? Do you view the glass as half empty or half full? That conflict in your workplace may be your stepping stone to victory. Is it possible that your supervisor, your manager is observing how you handle stress? The manager is observing, are you a team player? Do you crumble under pressure? How flexible and agile are you? With every challenge, God is building your muscles of resilience so that you will not faint in the future days. Yes, you have the strength to go through that trial. May Almighty God grant you the grace to see the challenge the way he does and you will not miss your opportunities in Jesus' name. And yes, you do have the faith to move the mountain. Matthew 17 verse 20, so Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. A mustard seed can barely be seen by the human eye, yet mustard seed faith can move mountains. Romans 12 verse 3, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. God has given you a measure of faith. Use it. Mountain of opportunity. The same situation where Elijah had victory could have been a place of defeat. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal. Without the help of God, it could have ended badly. Caleb 
saw the mountain as an opportunity. At the age of 85, Caleb said, Now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I'll be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. 85 years old and still taking territories, still expecting promises to manifest, still relying on God. Caleb refused to be defined by his age. Give me this mountain. Victory on the mountain. Zechariah 4 verse 7. What are you? O great mountain, before Zerubbabel you will become a plain and he will bring forth the top stone with shouts of grace, grace to it. Mountain of opportunity, Matthew chapter 4 verse 8 and 9. Again, the devil took Jesus up to an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give to you if you will fall down and worship me. The devil took Jesus to a high mountain and gave him a vantage view. The mountain is a place of vantage view. The mountain, is it a place of temptation or a place of victory over temptation? For Jesus, this was an opportunity to say to the devil, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him and behold, angels came and ministered to him. When the Lord raises us up, promotes us, blesses us, places us on the mountain of visibility, there is a temptation to be arrogant. Proverbs 16 verse 18, pride goes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. I pray that your mountaintop season will not end in a fall. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus says that mountains will move if you have faith. But do you know Jesus? Have you accepted him as your Savior and Lord? When the mountains move, disadvantages can be changed to advantages. Challenges can be turned to stepping stones. When you know Jesus, the challenges that crushed others will be turned around to the glory of God. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, you live a successful life here on earth and have everlasting life, eternal life. Your future is secure. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Choose Jesus today. Give your life to the one who can change your future and you can accept Jesus Christ and change the course of your life and destiny right here, right now by saying this prayer with me. And if you're a Christian who has strayed away from God, you can say this prayer also. And the prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I've done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your Son, Jesus Christ, as my Savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, please come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you've just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a message to the number on your screen, 0708 225 stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, please add the code plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps. Victory! on the mountain. I'd love us to take some prayer points together. They're quite a number, so please follow on the screen. And I do hope I can slow down a bit, but if it's too fast, please come back later and go over the prayer points. Prayer point number one, Lord, please grant me victory on this mountain. Grant me victory on the mountain. Let every battle against my success, against my life, against my destiny be demolished. Take me to the height you have intended for me. Elevate me. Place me on the mountain 
of visibility. Place me on the pinnacle of success. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number two, Psalm 125 verse two. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time forth and forever. Let us pray, almighty God, Grant me protection and safety. Protect my family in these turbulent times. Deliver me from all fear. Prayer point number three, Obadiah 1, 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We'll use various versions of this scripture in prayer. So please follow me on the screen. Almighty God, Help me to possess my possessions, to possess my inheritance, to reclaim my inheritance, to take back my possessions. Omnipotent God, help me to capture the land of those who took my land, to possess the land that is mine by right, to conquer those who had conquered me. Almighty God, help me to dispossess those who dispossessed me. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four, I dispossess my enemies of all the blessings intended for me. I take back my health, I take back my wealth, my strength, my joy, my peace. I take back everything that God has given me in Jesus' name. I reclaim all my lost advantages and competencies. I decree complete recovery and I take it by force because the violence, take it by force in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer point number five, Psalm 97 verse five. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. Let us pray, O oh Lord, grant me wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Send down your fire. Let your glory be seen in my life. Let me be changed from glory to glory. Let every negative mountain melt like wax at your presence. Let all unprofitable habits drop off my life by fire. Prayer point number six, John 14, 12 to 14. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, he who believes in me, Jesus, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these will he do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. You know which mountains you want to move. Speak to those mountains in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. You can be specific. For instance, let every mountain of discouragement, every mountain of depression, stagnation, and negativity move in the name of Jesus. Grant me total, comprehensive, and irreversible victory in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Prayer point number seven are your personal prayer requests and I would like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18 verse 19 says that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. Lift up your request. He wants to hear you. He wants to answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious promises. We are thankful that when we pray, you answer us. I agree with those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies in the name of Jesus. And let those testimonies begin right now. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Thanks for praying along with me. And as we pray further, please feel free to type amen in the chat box. Victory on the mountain. May Almighty God break down barriers for you, clear every limit, overthrow every stronghold, turn every place of defeat to a mountain of victory. You advance, you make progress, you manifest greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching, TOD House of Favor or Healing Streams with Femi Piton. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us today. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Piton on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Piton, you can view all the videos in one place. You can even view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. It's been such a delight having you today. And may the Healing Streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.